Thank you very much, Damien. Um, basically, a games-based approach, I think that's really what the whole thing is about. I'm delighted and we're fortunate to have four great speakers here tonight on that team. Uh, there's a presentation here someplace. Um, okay, the game is at the center. The game is at the center of what we do. Earlier, the chairman spoke about the sports science side of things. Um, so that's, it's, it, we're predominantly about games. The chairman, Frank, mentioned the whole sports science side of things. So there is a physical side of things. Uh, traditionally, in the past, I suppose, games constituted drills. And when you ran out of drills, you decided to run the guys around the field, and that was about the extent of it. But we have to be a little more enlightened today. So that's the physical side. There's also the psychological side, and that's what we call the analytical side. Um, the chief emphasis, in my opinion, has to be on what's at the centre there, the game, because that's where the goalposts are, that's where the scores come from, and that's where the team has won or lost. So really we have to be conscious of how we develop better players in the context of the game. Now, something that we will deal in greater, deal with, uh, in greater deal, uh, detail tomorrow is the whole area of values and how they join up the whole team. At the moment, I suppose for most uh, people, values would be relatively vague and nebulous and people mightn't have a good understanding of what we're talking about. But hopefully by tomorrow evening you will have a better understanding, a better in appreciation and you'll understand the significance of values. So, in a game space context, what are we trying to do? We're talking about organising purposeful age-related activities and challenges. And as I say, we'll forget about the sports science side of things for tonight. We'll forget about the values, we'll just look at the game space side of things. So, if it's organising purposeful age-related activities and challenges, that's what we're trying to do. So, we have to have regard for the fact that we have the nursery, the child, the youth and the adult. And then when we begin to think and talk about doing things at nursery level, so what's relevant at nursery level? You have drills, you have fun routines, you have ball sins, and these in time will be all interactive. It will be possible to go onto a website, click on one of those, and the activities will come up behind them because we do live in a digital age. So that's what's relevant at nursery level. At child level, Chairman spoke about the importance of the Go Games, significance of the Go Games, and how they've grown, and it's been nothing short of phenomenal. They were launched 12 years ago. Uh, when we move on to youth level, uh, obviously it's more the game, and then we can talk about small-sided games, backs and forwards, and condition games. And then at adult level, you can talk about practice plays and set plays. And you might say to me, we know what a set play is. What's a practice play? It's not a drill. It's not a game. It's somewhere in between. And then, regardless of what level we're dealing with, uh, we can talk about challenges. So you can have, cha the challenges are unique then to the person involved, it might be the full back line, or it can be made unique to different people. And if you have a team, and think about it, if you have a junior team, many of you will be involved with junior, intermediate or senior teams, and you have players ranging from, say, 18 in age to 34, obviously you can't do the same thing with everybody. So you can, you can individualise the training then on the back of the challenges. So that's the model and that's the framework we're using. And tonight, we are fortunate in that we, f we have four of the best people in the country who are going to look, and when I say in the country, Nicholas is based with GWS Great, Great Western Sydney in, in Australia, but he's as much part of the setup in this country as he's GWS, and he's as much interest in what happens in, in back at home as he has in, in Greater Western Sydney. But he's going to bring a different perspective. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over now, I think it's Paul Kinnerk is going first, but we'll get, the, we'll get the MC back on board and we'll get the uh, ball in motion. Thanks very much.